It started from Hot Wheels, actually, just falling in love with it, the 9-11 body style. And I grew up in the 80s and 90s skateboarding, so like no matter what, I feel that's that's always going to be a part of me. And I feel like that mentality almost never leaves you. Without knowing it, I feel like you gain a sense of appreciation for design. And it made me want to create a shop that was a little different than most shops, especially the most pressure shops around. Create something fun, kind of create a community around it, and just different, like a different aesthetic to it, just a different approach to parts manufacturing, auto repair. And I wanted to make it so it wasn't so pretentious and a little bit of hot rod, a little bit raw, and just fun for everyone. I was, I was building and fabricating from a young age, just through going through my dad's toolboxes and my brother, 10, 11, you know, like building like things like, I mean, on my BMX bike or skateboard ramps and stuff. But, um, and the thing is, I've always been into cars, like, you know, from Hot Wheels to model cars to RC cars to real cars. As far as building like a whole project car, I probably wouldn't see it until I was 18. You know, I, was, I had fixed up a few cars in high school, but it wasn't until like I was like 18 or 19 where I started to actually build things, learn the craft. And I think it wasn't until I started getting into motorcycles and racing motorcycles that I started to actually learn how to actually craft and weld and stuff just because of the necessity of it from crashing and whatnot. Like, and not, you know, and at that young of an age, I didn't have the money to pay anyone to do anything, so I could kind of do everything myself or ask for help from my brother. And it just kept going. Here we are. <laughs> When it's completely handmade, it's never perfect. And, and I think that's where the hand style comes into it. You know, with like anything, like writing, drawing, everyone has their own hand style. Same goes with metal shaping, I think. You know, you could have 10 different people make the same part, but I think they all come out a little different just from their own personal experiences and techniques. I can't say it's the most efficient, but it's us. <laughs> We got this, we, you know, we got a really good team going and it's, I think everyone gets along really well and everyone treats it like their own house. So anyone coming in, it's like, you're inviting them to your home almost, which is great. You know, I couldn't ask for a better group of guys. I think we can build a pretty nice, really clean car as well as make a, a car that's, you know, just used and beat up, we can still make it have good style, I feel. And create some cool parts that we can look back on and be proud of and just, you know, stand the test of time. I, you know, I hope we're one of the shops that help change that outlook on it. Because it's a fun car, it's a fun brand, it's, it's a great car to work on. It's a great car to drive, actually. So. I would like everyone to experience it. I think aside from being a shop, to me sleepers is like a spirit or a feeling. Kind of like that nostalgic feeling when you see, hear, or smell something from your youth that you're once maniacal about. That's the feeling. It brings back that that kid in you. <laughs>